हेलो एवरीवन सो आई एम बैक विद माय न्यू वीडियो विच इज ऑन इमर्सन्स ट्रांसेंडेंटलिज्म एक्चुअली दिस इज़ अ वेरी वेल नोन टॉपिक ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर एंड ऑल द लिटरेचर स्टूडेंट शुड नो अबाउट व्हाट इज ट्रांसेंडेंटलिज्म एक्चुअली इज एंड हियर वी विल कवर द पॉइंट्स लाइक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हु इज राल्फ वर्ल्ड इमर्सन बिकॉज एक्चुअली ट्रांसेंडेंटलिज्म वॉज फर्स्ट कॉइंड बाय इमर्सन ओके and then we will cover famous quotes by him then meaning of transcendentalism major transcendentalist values emerson's transcendentalism and last conclusion so here we go first of all ralph waldo emerson he was born on may 25th 1803 in boston massachusetts us and died on april 27th 1882 in concord massachusetts us Alma Mater was Harvard Divinity School. Ira was 19th century philosophy. Reason was American philosophy, and his school was transcendentalism itself. You know. And next institution was Harvard College. Main interest was individualism, nature, divinity, cultural criticism, and notable ideas are self-reliance, transparent, eyeball, and double consciousness. So here are his famous quotes like this. the purpose of life is not to be happy it is to be useful to be honorable to be compassionate to have it to make uh, it makes some difference that you have lived and lived well next quote is life is a journey not a destination see what a famous quote by him that you must focus on journey you uh, go with and not to the destination itself because at the last of our life means at the end of our life we always think about the journey you know not what we have achieved actually we always remember about journey that's why so here uh, the meaning of transcendentalism what is transcendentalism let's see transcendentalism is a very formal word that describes a very sp- simple idea people man and women equally have knowledge about themselves and the world around them that transcends or goes beyond what they can see hear touch taste or feel okay so this is transcendentalism this knowledge actually comes from intuition and imagination not through logic and sen- logic of the senses people can trust themselves to be their own authority or what is right a transcendentalism is a person who accepts these ideas not as a religious belief but as a way of understanding life relationships so i hope you have understood what is transcendentalism actually and now let's next slide is about major transcendentalist values so first value is individualism and next is idealism and the third but not last is divinity of nature so i will let you know one by one what is these transcendentalist values first is individualism perhaps the most important transcendentalist value was the importance of individual they saw the individual as pure and they lived that society and its institutions corrupted this purity means purity of individual transcendentalists highly valued the concept of thinking for oneself and believed people were best when they were independent and could think of for themselves only then could individuals come together and form ideal communities so this is what individualism says in the means term of transcendentalism next is idealism the focus on idealism comes from romanticism a slightly earlier moment instead of valuing logic and learned knowledge as many educated people at the time did transcendentalism transcendentalists placed great importance on imagination next intuition and last creativity okay they saw the values of the age of reason as controlling and confining and they wanted to bring back a more ideal and enjoyable way of living last is divinity of nature transcendentalists didn't 
believe in organized religion but they were very spiritual instead of believing in the divinity of religious figures they saw nature as sacred and divine they believed it was crucial for humans to have a close relationship with nature the same way religious leaders preach about the importance of having a close relationship with god we so um, we usually see that many uh, religious hypocrites also say that thing that we should close with divinity of nature and all so this is what transcendentalist values are contended with transcendentalists saw nature as perfect as it was humans should not try to change or improve it okay so we should only focus on means this is all con- uh, mean containing the natural part you know uh, we should be connected with nature which is lacking in our day to day life nowadays so next slide is about immersions transcendentalism so we will cover all this means 8 point one by one first is immersion as a center of transcendentalism transcendentalism is a philosophy that began in the mid 19th century and whose founding members including Carl Folder Immersion and Henry David Thoreau it centers around the belief that spirituality can't be achieved through reason and rationalism but instead through self reflection and intuition in other words transcendentalists believe spirituality isn't something you can explain it's something you feel a transcendentalist would argue that going for a walk in a beautiful place would be a much more spiritual experience than reading a religious text so we should feel the beauty of the things surrounding us uh, especially in the nature you know uh, we should go for morning walk and all the things so that we can connect with the nature because nature is a very powerful thing uh, made by go- created by god and this is how we uh, know ourselves we should spend we get time to spend with ourselves if we are you know Uh, getting uh, means feeling the nature surrounding by us so this is what immersion is a center of transcendentalism and i would like to share some some more thing about this the transcendentalist movement arose as a result of a reaction of unitarianism as well as the age of reason both center uh, on uh, reason as the main source of knowledge but transcendentalist rejected the notion okay that notion particular notion some of the transcendentalist belief uh, are like this that um, you should uh, feel the nature you should believe in god and all means all the moral values you can imagine in this okay next slide is about humans are inherently good so society and its institutions such as organized religion and politics are corrupting humans you know he is saying means the, who that immersion is saying like this that humans are inherently good but the society and the politics is corrupting them they are very good by nature because a newborn baby is always very simple and kind you know very naive in its nature but uh, as he grows up or she grows up they are corrupting uh, they are being corrupted by the society norms and politics sir i mean in every field we see nowadays politics you know so that's why uh, these things are corrupting humans instead of now i'm reading the next line instead of being part of them humans should strive to be independent and self reliant he is saying like this that we should be self reliant and we should be independent we should not uh, try to in- engross ourselves much in the politics um, and in the society norms and all inside and experience are more important you know than logic uh, we can say here and next slide is about appreciation of nature immersion encouraged his audience to develop an ex- appreciation of nature nature is beautiful should be deeply appreciated and should not be altered by humans we are altering like uh, we are cut, uh, means uh, 
finishing the trees forest area for our living and uh, building new buildings high buildings for them it means we can understand that how we are destroying the nature so he is saying that like this that uh, that nature at least should not be altered by any human being or any anything may uh, most of the time we human only alter that nature so that's why uh, he is saying like this we should appreciate the nature and should not alter this because the united state states was still a new no, uh, nation whose scholars are uh, often turned to be you know european academic text for guidance so all of uh, all in all we should appreciate the nature next slide is about using subjective intuition in a lecture at phi beta kappa society at cambridge on august 31st 1837 immerson urged the students and faculty to use their subjective intuition to produce a scholarship and works of literature that would allow america to be recognized by an international audience so this is actually not uh, we can say that uh, the part of that transcendentalist actually but uh, he is he has mentioned something in his american literature which i have made video on means my previous video was on american literature the nsa by immersion so he has used subjective intuition in that so that's why i have mentioned here also that slide and the next is about c empowering american in a, in his essay in his essay means win which in the american scholar uh, and we can say it is a uh, transcendentalism also uh, tra his transcendentalist value so immersion along with other transcendentalists created a new america as mentioned in american scholar they criticized government organized religion laws social institution and creeping industrialization uh they created an america state american state of mind in which imagination was better than reason you know creativity was better than theory and action was better than contemplation and they had faith that all would be well because humans could transcend limits and reach astonishing heights so you can uh, understand now this that how this american literature means essay by um, emotion can and is always related with transcendentalist values okay so next slide is about emotion's views on god emotion believed that god was revealed through nature like the british romantic contemporaries emotion saw a direct connection with man nature and god historian grant wecker describes emotion's belief which is god was best understood as a spirit an ideal a, uh, a breath of life everything everywhere and always filling the world with the inexhaustible power of the divine presence we can feel we can feel means you know everywhere is god it is said in hindu religion also so this is the divine presence of god god was as close as the atmosphere as intimate as the blowing clover and the falling rain so this is what emerson says uh, emerson's views are on god and next slide is about contribution to philosophy on of transcendentalism emerson was a harvard educated essayist and a lecturer and is recognized as our first truly american thinker in his most famous essay the american scholar he urged americans to stop looking to europe for inspiration and imitation and be themselves you know we should have our own identity not others me should not imitate any other person because god had created everyone with a unique and uh, means unique and very different quality so we should not imitate others he is saying like this and this is how his contribution to transcendentalism is uh, seen so he believed that people were naturally good and that 
everyone's potential was limitless okay as i told you before he inspired his colleagues to look into themselves into nature into art and through work for answers to life's most perplexing questions his intellectual contributions to the philosophy of transcendentalism inspired a uniquely american idealism and spirit of reform next slide is about conclusion as uh, we will cover all this means what is about transcendentalism we will see here so all in all we can say that immersion may be called as the first to term the word transcendentalism you know this is a very um, well known term of english literature and uh, very frequently asked a question in to literature student in the exams that what is immersion transcendentalism so you can use all these points all the eight points i have covered in this uh, means video so you can go for that and you will be benefited definitely and now this is a very common word in english literature you know as i have told you transcendentalism is a very common word in english literature and uh, uh, very well means well known and you can say very well executed in today's scenario very well uh, dependent or you can say um, relatable in today's scenario this is transcendentalism we all should know about this except english literature students everyone should know what is transcendentalism so i hope this is uh, benefited to you and thank you for now bye to all